uh, we will also now look into the structure of a prokaryotic cell. How does a prokaryotic cell look? What are all the parts that go into it? What way is it different from a eukaryotic cell? Right? What are the additional structures the bacteria have? So, those kind of details we are going to look into right now. So, let me look into the structure of a single bacterial cell. So, as you know, uh, the bacterial cell has a cell membrane. So, what is the cell membrane is made of? Whether it is a bacterial cell or a human cell, right? We all have the same structure of the cell membrane, which is otherwise called as plasma membrane. So, the main component of a plasma membrane is a lipid bilayer, right? That is how it looks. This is the lipid bilayer. So, lipid bilayer means this made up of uh, phospholipids that is the lipid bilayer structure phospholipids and in between you will find proteins which are intrinsic intrinsic means they are throughout the lipid bilayer and then extrinsic they are little outside the lipid bilayer. So, this is the main composition of uh, the cell membrane of bacterial cell as well as any other cell for that matter has phospholipid bilayer with proteins right. So, then apart from the cell membrane what else does it have? Uh, inside it has cytoplasm and then uh, it, it has also uh, you know it has it do not have a nucleus because it has no membrane bound compartment inside the cell. So, what it has is uh, you can see there that uh, uh, you know pink colored ones then it is nothing but the DNA. The DNA is circular unlike you know if you look at higher organisms we all have linear DNA, but uh, the bacteria have circular DNA and circular double stranded DNA that is what they have circular double stranded DNA, but it is not found inside the nucleus it is found floating in the cytoplasm and the place where you find the DNA in the bacterium is known as nucleoid. Sometimes they use this word called genophore. So, this is where you find this double stranded circular DNA bundled up in a, in a region called as nucleoid that is all that place is called nucleoid, but it is not membrane bound. And the if you look at the difference between a eukaryotic uh, you know DNA and the prokaryotic DNA, uh, in eukaryotes generally this DNA will be associated with a special kind of proteins uh, which are known as histones right. Histones are the proteins which are found associated with the DNA in eukaryotes, but if you look at prokaryote that the DNA is called naked DNA why because it do not have the histones the proteins. Right, that is why the DNA is called naked DNA. Now, that is about the DNA and apart from that you will find inside the cytoplasm the only organelle you find is ribosome. So, you know that ribosomes are mainly used for protein synthesis right. So, this ribosomes of prokaryotes are different from eukaryotes in the sense that the ribosomes are called as 70s that is they are smaller than the eukaryotic ribosomes, eukaryotic ribosomes are 80 s, but prokaryotic ribosomes are 70 s that is the size of the ribosome. And apart from that you will see that uh, uh, you know the cell membrane surrounding the cell membrane there is a cell wall you know that is one of the most important character of uh, the prokaryotic uh, cell monerans is the cell wall. The cell wall is made up of a special compound called as peptidoglycan peptidoglycan now what is peptidoglycan peptidoglycan is nothing but you know it is made up of carbohydrate chains like this lot of carbohydrate chains like this cross linked by the peptide bonds okay peptide bonds L small peptides linked together right small peptides link these carbohydrate chains together. So, that is what is called peptidoglycan. So, there is another name for peptidoglycan it is also called murin or sometimes they call it as mucopeptide same ok all the mean all these three mean the same mucopeptide, murin, peptidoglycan you name it the way you want. So, this is the cell wall of uh, the uh, bacterium is made up of peptidoglycan or the murin 
and apart from that uh, you know you will find uh, certain bacteria have flagella okay you you see this bacterium it has a single flagellum uh, so this flagellum is different from eukaryotic flagellum in the sense that uh, the flagellum of uh, uh, moneron shows propelling movement no, it, it, it propels the cell forward and it is made up of a different protein called as flagellin but in eukaryotic cell it is a totally different type of movement as well as the structure which we will discuss later but understand uh, in prokaryotes the flagellum is mainly made up of a protein called flagellin uh, and uh, you know the based on the number of flagella they have given different names you know the type of flagellation for example this one has single flagellum then it is called as monotricus right monotricus flagellation atricus means no flagella uh, amphitricus means you will find flagella on both sides like this okay that is called amphitricus peritricus means all across the cell you will find flagella it is called peritricus flagellation so depending upon the distribution of flagella they the flagellation they have given different names atricus monotricus peritricus amphitricus and if you look at u e coli no it has like this it has one one place it has lot right it is called as uh, lophotricus like that also and apart from flagella you can see that some hair like structures in this bacterium so those hair like structures are no given a name called pilus or pilus okay they are small hair like structures so what is the function of this pili so the pili uh, help in pili is the plural pili help in adhesion that is the bacterium can adhere to any other bacterium or to any substrate it can adhere so that is the function of uh, pilus there is a special pilus uh, which helps in the bacterial recombination that pilus is called f pilus or sex pilus it helps in bacterial recombination which we will do little later uh, and pili are smaller than flagella and they are made up of a special uh, protein called pilin okay that is the main function of uh, uh, pili right uh, adhesion and apart from that what else do you find you will also find that uh, you know inside the uh, cell uh, the cytoplasm you will also sometimes you will find extra chromosomal dna you will have a nucleoid right you will have a nucleoid where the bacterial double stranded dna is find, found but apart from that you will also find another circular dna separate okay that separate dna is known as plasmid plasmid dna it is again circular double stranded dna but smaller and this plasmid is uh, known as extra chromosomal autonomously replicating dna that is called plasmid dna autonomously replicating means what what does it mean means it can replicate independent of the bacterial real dna it it can uh, replicate independent of it then it is called as plasmid dna so many bacteria do have plasmids and plasmid is the one which confers you know uh, resistant to antibiotics many uh, bacteria are resistant to antibiotic because the plasmid carries the genes to destroy that antibiotic correct so then it becomes uh, resistant so apart from uh, you know this uh, antibiotic resistant gene some of the plasmids are called as f factors uh, they are plasmids which help in bacterial recombination we will do about uh, them little later we will talk about them and apart from uh, this is the basic structure of uh, the bacterium and many of these bacteria apart from the cell membrane and then they have the cell wall you can see the yellow thing is cell membrane on that you will see bluish thing called cell wall on the top of it they also have a capsule you know the capsule is made up of uh, mucopolysaccharides and the capsule makes the uh, bacterium pathogenic most of the capsulated strains of bacteria are highly pathogenic means they do not get digested by the digestive enzyme so easily so because of that capsule protecting them so they are called capsulated strains so this is the structure of the uh, bacterial cell 